Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have such an exciting video for you guys. I am so excited for this. Today I'm going to be filming the second episode of my closet declutter series. Today we are going to be tackling Chloe and Tori's closet that is right behind me. You may notice we are in a different room. We are in their room because their closet is in their room. And we are going to clean it out. A very deep clean. I'm going to dust. I'm going to vacuum. I am going to do everything. And at the end, maybe I'll show you guys like their reactions to it. So if you are new here, definitely make sure that you subscribe to my channel down below and you ring the bell to receive notifications every single time I post a new video. I post lots of cleaning videos, lots of motivation to help you get stuff done, recipe videos, any sort of lifestyle stuff, I have it here on my channel. So definitely make sure that you stay tuned and maybe after this watch some more of my other videos. And since this is a series, this is the second episode, definitely make sure that you go and check out my first episode that I will have in an iCard right here. So grab a space in your house and let's clean together. Come clean with me and let's get something off your to-do list. So without further ado, let's get right to the video. Like I said, today I'm going to be cleaning out my sister's closet, Chloe and Tori. Since they live together in a room, they have the same room, um, it can get a little messy sometimes with just two people. And Chloe is more of a neat freak than Tori is. Sorry, Tori. Their closet, for the most part, is kind of organized. It's really just sorting through and just kind of finding really good spots to put things. You guys also know me, I will be color coding in this video. I love color coordination. I don't care if they keep it, it's just gonna make me a lot happier. I'm so excited to just start digging into this closet. I honestly really love this series and I don't know when I'm gonna make another one, but this one is gonna be so good. Definitely make sure you keep watching, come clean with me, and let's just start cleaning out this closet. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with the bottom half of this closet. Obviously, as you can see, they have some storage here, so that's going to make organizing a lot more fun and a lot easier. So they just kind of have some random clothes and stuff. This stuff is actually stuff that we are selling, I believe. So I'm going to try to find a good place for that, try to tidy it. It might just have to stay here just until we list it and we sell them. Okay, so this may have been a bigger ordeal than I was hoping for. This is all of the stuff that was in there. They got like a bunch of markers in here and then they just have like binders and they literally have a box full of rocks. Like they're pretty rocks, but they're still rocks. These bins are pretty organized. I'm probably not really gonna touch them. Now that all this is taken out, we have a clear canvas down here. So next I'm going to go get our vacuum and we're just going to vacuum this out before we start putting everything back in. And then I also want to wipe down the shelf and just kind of get it nice and dusted off. So I'm gonna go get the vacuum and the dusting stuff and then we are going to clean everything out and put everything back in. I've recruited one of the hoarders. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm ashamed. Okay, so I recruited Chloe just to help me like go through everything that they want. She's not actually gonna be in here when I'm doing like the organizing process. I just don't want to get rid of stuff that she doesn't want to get rid of. And I'm going to do the organizing by myself later in the end. Excuse me, ma'am. What did you just say? We kept these boxes because they're cool boxes. Okay, Chloe and I just finished going through everything. We were able to get rid of a few things, so that's always good. And now I'm just going to be working on putting everything back in the closet, including this cabinet right here, and then all of 
the stuff but I'm gonna put it back very organized because it was a little disheveled when I first went in there so let's start putting this closet back together All right guys, so I have most of these cubbies filled or organized, except we have one cubby left and they have this giant box full of art stuff. So I went downstairs and got a bunch of jars and pretty much I'm just going to try to organize all of these into these jars. I got some wide mouth ones, I got some taller ones, I got some shorter ones just to kind of give it some dimension. And I'm just gonna kind of make like a craft cubby because they didn't want to put any of this stuff downstairs in my craft room. And honestly, I don't think I have enough space for all of this in my craft room. If you need a marker, but you don't want to go downstairs in my craft room, you just come here and you're done. I'm going to start taking these jars and I'm going to start taking everything everything out of their packages and rubber bands and stuff. I am going to get a piece of paper to test which ones work and which ones don't and whichever ones don't work are going to be thrown out. So let's start going through all this stuff. Okay, so I just finished this little craft cubby and now all of these cubbies are all organized. Um, as I said, all of their craft stuff and their like markers and all that sort of stuff is right here. So it's easily accessible whenever they open the closet. Chloe has a bunch of nail stuff, so I just put these next to each other. I was trying to fit all of them in one cubby, but some of this stuff is just too bulky and it just wasn't gonna fit. And then over here we have like notebooks and paper and just like all that sort of stuff that they didn't want to get rid of. And then I put some of their extra binders back here. Tori still has a Nintendo DS. 
DS. It's like the new thing for her right now just because like Nintendo DS is like my time like really really cool when it first came out. So she has my old one. I have that organized into a bin. Chloe has some ribbon that I organized into a little bin that I found. And then over here in this corner is just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Tori got a donut maker for Christmas. She obviously wants to keep it and we have like a duffel bag and we have some beads and like some other bigger bulkier craft stuff. So now that this is all done, we are going to head to the top of the closet and I'm just gonna color code it, make it look nice, you know, put dresses together and shirts and just all that sort of organizational stuff. their clothes are all organized. Some of Tori's dresses and also some of Chloe's dresses kind of hit those clothes, but since we're selling those, I'm not worried about it. All the cubbies are all filled up. All the sides are not nearly, nearly as cluttered. And yeah, so I think they're really gonna like it. I'm gonna go get them and show it to them. You guys ready to see your closet? What? <laughs> you guys ready to see? Yeah. Come forward a little bit. Come this way. Nope, that's your bed. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Well, the size of the looks really good, actually. We got rid of it, little Toto. You guys had a giant box full of markers and stuff, and I went through all of it. And now it's like easily accessible. It's good. You like it? Gracias. De nada. It's better than what we did. Organized. Tori, how do you feel? Tired. So that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was such a fun episode of this Closet Clutter series. If you guys are excited for more of these episodes of this series, definitely make sure that you subscribe down below so you never miss an episode. And make sure that you give this video a thumbs up to let me know. I still have a lot more closets that I need to tackle in this series and I am so excited. It's gonna be so satisfying and I think this project was one of my favorites. So that's gonna be it for today's video and I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye. Thank you.